There were hundreds of students in the freshman building in Parkland that day when the school came under attack and some of those who made it out now deal with horrible memories. The survivors and News Channel 5's Amy Lipman talked with one of them about that day and how life has changed since then. Sitting outside Stoneman Douglas High School, 15 year old Maddie Zeltwanger seems to constantly know someone driving by. Parkland is where she grew up, especially in the last year. I think I've become a lot stronger. Around two in the afternoon on February 14th, 2018, Maddie was a typical high school freshman sitting in English class. And I was writing an essay. But within 30 minutes, she became a mass shooting survivor. The first classroom, the hardest hit classroom. Maddie's desk was closest to the door. She heard a popping sort of sound. So I looked up and there was a gun shooting down the hallway. She immediately ran to the other end of the classroom and hid behind her teacher's desk. If it was one millisecond before when I ran it, I would have been, I would have been shot. Eight students in her class were shot. Three died. Alyssa Alhadef, Alex Schachter, and Elena Petty. They were all really smart. That's why Maddie now has three hearts tattooed on her ankle. So it's very special and it's very like personalized to what I went through. She got out from room 1216 alive that day. Her mom, Kim, took this picture soon after they were reunited. Wow, we just, we got, we got very lucky. You know, I feel like God was looking up after her in that classroom. But the emotional wounds are as ingrained as her new tattoo. I think in the beginning I had a really hard time like laughing, like being happy because I just felt guilty. The memories often flood Maddie's mind when she goes to school. As long as that building is up, you know, they're, they're going to have a daily reminder of it. She now has a place to go to reflect. Especially at the school, you just feel kind of close to it. A new community garden called Project Grow Love. My mom and I came out and we put the, the 17 angels out. Maddie just wishes the 17 victims could drive by and wave to her too. It makes me feel like, you know, they're, they're with us and they're like our guardian angels. I'm Amy Lippman, WPTV News Channel 5.